Greetings fellow SOLIDWORKS CAD users. In this video, I'll be highlighting some of the new fundamentals that you could encounter with your installation of SOLIDWORKS 2023. Let's begin with increased capabilities to the Application Programming Interface, or API for short. We see added support for the Mate Controller feature in assemblies as well as simple two-member and complex corner treatments for structure systems. Also, a redesign for the sheet metal sketched bin feature makes these commands even easier to use. This is going to add functionality to your custom API solutions with even more capabilities. Next up are some changes to system options and document properties. Two new system options with color manipulation have been added. One is now giving the users the ability to set the color for highlighting when a bomb cell has been manually changed. The second is for setting the color of sketch explode lines. Both provide improved communication when working within drawings. Another new system option will improve performance when opening an assembly. Automatically optimize resolved mode and hide lightweight mode gives the system the ability to optimize data on demand, all based on the user workflow. Lightweight mode is removed while in this new auto mode. This option is also associated with two other new options, manually manage resolved and lightweight modes and load component lightweight. The manually manage choice controls when a component loads in lightweight or resolved modes and the load component lightweight is simply a renamed past option that used to be called automatically load components lightweight. These options give the user some added control as well as letting the system control assembly reference loading for you. New document properties include some controls for geometric tolerance symbols. This new enable disable options per standard can be found under the annotations geometric tolerances and allows the user to limit symbols to a standard if enabled. Probably the most requested document property setting is the new see-through transparent components in HLR HLV. This now allows you to show transparent components in drawing views as hidden lines removed or visible, no longer forcing users to show views as shaded in order to see this transparency. The next section for SOLIDWORKS fundamentals in 2023 includes an additional option when creating an ellipse. Now sketching an ellipse in SOLIDWORKS 2023, you can apply construction geometry to both the major and minor axis. This is a great enhancement which saves clicks when making either axis vertical or horizontal as you only need to select one line and not two points. The final enhancement for SOLIDWORKS 2023 fundamentals relates to performance gains when manipulating views during modeling. By using level of detail found in the system options under performance, you can improve performance while zooming in and out, panning and rotating draft quality HLR HLV as well as wireframe modes of models. I hope this part of What's New series gives you a better understanding of the new features and functions of SOLIDWORKS 2023.